Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I'm rejoicing. I'm glad in it. It's also day number five of us praying through the book of Ephesians. And my prayer is that you'll find encouragement as we pray through the letter that was written to the church at Ephesus. It is power packed with encouragement in every chapter. And as you read through it and pray with us, I pray you're going to be encouraged in your situation, in your circumstance. I know many of us, if you're like me, you go through seasons of discouragement. You go through times of difficulty and maybe even have to go through a season of depression. But I want you to know that God's word is an encouragement to you to bring you strength when you're weak. It'll pick you up when you're down. It'll lead you out when you found yourself stuck in a situation. So we're going to pray through the book the whole month long. And today is day number five. And we're in Ephesians chapter one and verse seven. And we're going to read from the New Living Translation of the Word of God. Ephesians chapter one and verse seven from the New Living Translation of the Word of God says, he is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and forgave our sins. Amen. He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and forgave our sins. We want to pray for four things today. First, we want to pray and thank God for his kindness toward us. We want to pray and thank God for his kindness toward us. Secondly, we want to pray and thank God for his rich grace toward us, for his rich grace toward us. Thirdly, we want to pray and thank God that he purchased or redeemed our freedom for us through the blood of Jesus Christ. And then fourthly and finally, we want to pray and thank God that he has forgiven us of our sin. What a word of encouragement today. Come on, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Yeah. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, how we love you and honor you and bless and praise your name. Lord, how we worship you and just magnify you and give your name all of the praise and the honor and the glory. Lord, we pause at this time in our day just to, with the fruit of our lips, just to, to love on you and to, to adore you and to, to think well of you and to bless your holy name. Father, we just thank you for your kindness toward us that when we were not lovable, God, that when we were yet sinners, you allow Christ to die for us. Thank you for your kindness that was pointed in our direction, Lord. You did not have to do it, but you did, and we're eternally grateful. God, we thank you not only for your kindness toward us, but we thank you for your rich grace toward us, your rich, unmerited favor toward us. Lord, we haven't done anything to earn your blessings. We didn't work for it. We, we haven't served well enough. We haven't lived well enough. But God, your grace is so rich and it is targeted toward us. We thank you for your grace being sufficient. We thank you for the privilege of being able to come to the throne of grace and find grace and help in our time of need. God, we praise you and thank you not only for your kindness and your rich grace toward us, but we praise and thank you, Lord God, that you purchased us. You purchased our freedom for us. That, Lord God, when we were bound up in sin, when we were tied up and shapen in iniquity, that when we were uh, prisoners of the powers of darkness in this world, Lord God, you purchased our freedom through the blood of Jesus Christ. You said that the wages of sin is death, that the cost of sin is death that the price of sin is death and you purchased our souls, Lord, and you redeemed our souls, Lord, and you, you covered us in the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you for purchasing our freedom. Thank you for redeeming our souls. Lord, it should have been us on that cross. It should have been us dying that brutal death, but you allowed Jesus Christ, the righteous, to die in our place, to die in our stead. And for that, Lord, we are eternally grateful. Thank you for redeeming us and purchasing our freedom. And we thank you, Lord God, today that you have forgiven us of our sins. Lord, all of our mistakes and mess ups and messes we've made because we lived contrary to your word, because we've not followed your precepts and your 
your commandments for our life, God. We've transgressed your law for all of those times, Lord, when we've done things you told us not to do and didn't do the things you told us to do. Lord, we're sorry and we, we repent, Lord, and we turn away from those wicked ways. We thank you for the forgiveness of our sin. We thank you for making forgiveness available to us in Jesus Christ. Lord, the enemy would try to discourage us because of our mistakes. He would try to disqualify us because of our sin. But we're encouraged today to know, Lord God, you have forgiven us of our sin. You have purchased our freedom. That you have shown us rich grace and you have shown us kindness, Lord. And for that, Lord, we are thankful. We are grateful. We say hallelujah to the name of Jesus. We glorify you and magnify you. Thank you, Lord, for encouraging our souls today. Thank you for your word, Lord, that tells us you are rich in kindness and grace and that you purchased our freedom with the blood of Jesus Christ and you forgave us of our sin. And so we thank you for it and we bless you for it even now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Again, today was day number five of us praying through the book of Ephesians. We prayed through Ephesians 1 and 7 today. He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and forgave our sins. I want you to go in the power of the Lord today and in his encouragement. Subscribe to the channel. Share the channel with somebody else that you know needs to be encouraged today and let them know that we're praying all month long about the encouragement in the book of Ephesians. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. Be encouraged. God bless you.